If all the questions about social life, friendship, humanity's natural tendency to live in groups and high school drama and romance were to be combined, this anime would be the best thing to cover all that. The narcissist, semi-nihilist loner, Hachiman Hikigaya writes a provocative essay expressing his perspective on the lives of modern-day teenagers, which doesn't sit well with his language teacher Shizuka Hiratsuka. As his know-it-all responses keep coming, Shizuka almost punches him, Bai holds herself back. Instead, she assigns Hachiman to the Subu High School Service Club, which currently only has one member, Yukino Yukinoshita. Shizuka hopes that Yukino can help improve Hachiman's social skills and fix his solitary nature. Yukino is not happy about this, but allows him to join in the end. Hachiman recalls his past memories about asking out a girl and thinks about how rom-coms don't actually happen in life, at least for him. Yukino Kino explains that the club's purpose is to extend a helping hand to those who are in need. Yukino diagnoses Hachiman's conditon, that the loneliness that plagues him is simply a result of his stupid pride and contrary sensitivity. Meanwhile, Shizuka is listening to their conversation outside the door, thinking she's made the right call by making him join Yukino. Yukino tells Hachiman that if he can converse normally with a beautiful girl like herself, she'll be convinced that he can talk to other people. Hachiman tells her he doesn't need to be fixed, he just doesn't want to engage in small talk. Shizuka suggests they resolve their differences by having a showdown to see which one of them could assist more individuals who come to the club for help. The following day, Hachiman discovers that Yukino, despite her beauty, has been marginalized because of her distinctive way of thinking, and he can relate to her unconventional mindset. Later on, Yui Yuigahama approaches the service club and asks for assistance in baking cookies for a friend. Yukino struggles to teach Yui the basics of cooking, prompting Hachiman to take a different approach. He employs psychological insights to help Yui realize that the act of doing something for another person holds greater significance than the final outcome. Later, Yui brings homemade cookies as a thanks to Hachiman and Yukino, and although she refuses all of them, offers Yukino a bunch of friendship activities. Once again, Shizuka reprimands Hachiman for constructing his biology report around his dissatisfaction with the social hierarchy imposed by various groups. Later in the day, Yumiko Miura pressures Yui for a straightforward explanation when Yui attempts to break away from their social circle to have lunch with Yukino. Yukino eventually arrives and demands an explanation for Yui's lateness, but ultimately forgives her. However, Yumiko becomes agitated when Yui directs her attention towards Yukino, leading Yukino to call out Yumiko for her self-centeredness. The tension in the room causes the other students to leave, creating an opportunity for Yui to explain that meeting Hachiman and Yukino has helped her realize she can be true to herself and not succumb to others' expectations because she is finally learning how to stop being a people pleaser. Hachiman and Yukino are listening from the door. Yumiko eventually accepts Yui's perspective, agreeing to still being friends after Yui's speech. The following afternoon, a somewhat delusional teenager named Yoshiteru Zaimakuza arrives at the service club. He claims he is Hashiman's partner and that they've gone through some hardships together and Hashiman finally admits knowing him. After some initial awkwardness, they indirectly address the imaginary world and character he is performing and Yoshiteru eventually asks for their assistance in reviewing a light novel he has written. Hachiman and Yukino dedicate their entire night to reading his novel and offer their critiques the next day, which to Yoshiteru's dismay, turn out to be less than positive. Despite the service club's blunt honesty, Yoshiteru sincerely accepts their feedback and pledges to have them review his next literary work. During lunchtime at Hachiman's favorite spot, where he gets to enjoy the solitude and the fresh air, Yui interrupts his meal to excitedly share the progress of her growing relationship with Yukino. We briefly learn that Hachiman has been in an accident, but not much else is said about it in the conversation because that is when Saika Totsuka, Hachiman's classmate, comes in and praises Hachiman's tennis playing skills. In gym class, Saika practices tennis with Hachiman and extends an invitation for him to join the tennis club to improve the club's declining success. Hachiman talks this over with Yukino during the next service club meeting, but Yukino says this is not possible. Hachiman asks if there is anything they could do to help Saika. Just then, however, Saika arrives with Yui and asks for their help in practicing tennis over the next few days. Yukino casually blurts that Yui is not actually a part of the club, which leaves her shocked. But after immediately filling an application, she is officially accepted as a member. Days later, while practicing one lunchtime, Yumiko and her group demand to use the tennis court, disregarding the fact that Saika has permission to use it. When Hachiman refuses to give up the court, Hayato Hayama suggests a solution, a doubles match to determine who gets access to the court. 
The match kicks off with Hachiman and Yui facing off against Hayato and Yumiko. However, Yui sustains an ankle injury and switches places with Yukino. There's some friendly banter between Yukino and Yumiko before Yukino takes charge of the match, displaying her dominance until she exhausts her stamina and hands over the game to Hachiman. Hachiman makes a tactical move during the final serves, utilizing his understanding of sea breezes and hitting the ball in a high arc, ultimately securing the victory. Unfortunately, the onlookers become more focused on Hayato's heroic act of saving Yumiko from injuring herself on the final serve, overshadowing the service club's triumph. While on their way to school, Hachiman and his sister Komachi Hikigaya discuss the car accident Hachiman experienced while having a dog from getting hit by a car on what was supposed to be his first day of high school. Later, Shizuka reprimands Hachiman for his chosen career path as a stay-at-home dad and reminds him that he needs to select a three-person group for an upcoming workplace field trip. Later, Yui asks Hachiman for his phone number as she's reluctant to ask around for him at school when she can't find him. Yui receives an enigmatic text message about her classmates and Hayato requests their assistance in putting a stop to this chain mail that's been going around in school, which portrays his friends Kakaru, Yamato, and Oka in a negative light. The service club connects this message to the workplace field trip and deduces that one of the three friends of Hayato intends to eliminate another to form a group with Hayato. Hachiman and Yui take turns gathering information, but Yui's lack of subtlety leads to limited success. Later, Hachiman starts observing Hayato's clique until Saika interrupts, asking him if he has a group for the field trip. Subsequently, Hachiman and Hayato move to first name base, which surprisingly makes Hachiman feel warm. Hachiman ultimately unravels the mystery when Hayato joins the discussion. He explains that the strong bond among Kakeru, Yamato, and Oka is all anchored by Hayato's presence and suggests that Hayato remove himself from their group to allow them an opportunity to connect. In appreciation, Hayato forms a group with Hachiman and Saika for the field trip. For the millionth time, Shizuka reprimands Hachiman for his habitual tardiness in arriving at the end of after-school classes. Later, he heads to a local cafe where he unexpectedly encounters Yui, Yukino, and Saika, who have failed to invite him to their study group. They are soon joined by Hachiman's sister Komachi and her friend Taishi Kawasaki. Taishi expresses concern about his sister Saki Kawasaki's late-night activities, prompting the service club to resolve to uncover the truth. The following day, the club attempts various approaches to get to the bottom of Saki's activities, all of which end in failure. With Komachi's assistance, they eventually discover that Saki works night shifts at a cafe and trace her to a bar in a high-end Chiba hotel. Tensions rise between Saki and Yukino when they learn that Saki had deceived the hotel about her age to secure employment. The service club decides to exit the situation. Saki meets with the group the next morning and reveals that she had been saving money for college. However, Komachi points out that Saki's actions had caused unnecessary worry to her brother Taishi, and Hachiman suggests that she apply for a scholarship instead. Afterwards, Komachi shocks Hachiman with the revelation that Yui was the owner of the dog he had rescued in the car accident. Believing that Yui had only been friendly to him out of guilt, Hachiman decides to end their acquaintanceship during the field trip. Yui begins to miss the service club meetings and appears to withdraw from the group after her previous encounter with Hachiman. In response, Shizuka assigns them the task of recruiting a new third member. Yukino proposes the idea of welcoming Yui back into the club by celebrating her birthday. Over the weekend, they go to the mall to shop for a birthday gift for Yui, but their search is mostly unsuccessful. Eventually, they settle on purchasing some stylish accessories for her. During their outing, they unexpectedly encounter Yukino's older sister, Haruno Yukinoshita, who playfully teases them with her transparent personality. To their surprise, Yui also runs into them and Yukino invites her to the upcoming service club meeting. During the meeting, Yukino explains to Yui that they had intended to celebrate her birthday and express gratitude for everything she had done for the club. Hachiman takes the opportunity to clear the air with Yui, assuring her that she doesn't owe him anything and she shouldn't feel sorry for him. Yui responds by saying that she never viewed her actions as pity, but the complexity of the situation leaves her momentarily speechless. However, Yukino helps mend the rift between them by sincerely suggesting they leave behind their current circumstances and embark on a new path, a decision they collectively agree to. Hachiman does his best to unwind during summer break, deliberately ignoring the messages from Shizuka regarding service club matters. Eventually, Shizuka successfully persuades Hachiman to join her and the service club, along with other Subu High students, 
for a trip to a prefectural park in Chiba to oversee an elementary school summer camp for a few days. During an orienteering event at the camp, Hachiman and Yukino witnessed the deliberate exclusion of a young girl named Rumi Tsurumi by her peers. They also observe Hayato's numerous unsuccessful attempts to address the situation. Rumi senses a similar aura from Hachiman and Yukino and confides in them about her problem. Yukino adds that the issue is likely to worsen when Rumi enters middle school with the same group of people. That evening, the Subu group brainstorm ideas to help Rumi. However, tensions arise when Yukino rejects one of Yumiko's suggestions based on her limited experience in dealing with people like Rumi. Unable to sleep that night, Hachiman encounters Yukino in the woods, where she reveals her desire to assist Rumi, seeing shades of Yui in her situation. She also alludes to some history between herself and Hayato before heading to bed. Rumi too finds herself unable to sleep and sits by a stream contemplating under the starry sky. The summer camp continues and Shizuka asks the Subu group to organize a test of courage and a bonfire event for the evening. After making necessary preparations, the Subu girls unwind by a nearby river. Rumi joins Hachiman by the riverbank, where he discusses the diminishing likelihood of maintaining elementary school friendships as one grows older. However, Rumi shares that she has already given up on making friends because she expects her current treatment from her peers to be reciprocated based on her past experiences. In an effort to assist Rumi, Hachiman suggests that the Subu group create a source of conflict within the peer group that excludes Rumi. This would reveal their true loyalties to one another, potentially causing their bonds to fracture and shifting the focus away from Rumi. The plan appears to be successful during the Test of Courage event until Rumi unexpectedly saves the girls in a dramatic turn of events. Later during the bonfire event, the Subu group acknowledges that Hachiman's unconventional plan set the stage for the girls to drift apart after betraying each other, thus slightly improving Rumi's situation. The camp concludes the following day, and when Haruno arrives to pick up Yukino, Yui and Hachiman recognize the Yukinoshita limousine as the same vehicle involved in Hachiman's accident. Yui extends an invitation to Hachiman and Komachi to attend the annual summer fireworks festival as a way of expressing her gratitude for taking care of her dog. However, Komachi decides to decline the offer, giving Hachiman and Yui the opportunity to go together. On the day of the festival, Hachiman and Yui try to ease the initial awkwardness of their first outing by shopping for some items for Komachi. As the fireworks display commences, they encounter Haruno while searching for a spot to watch the spectacle. Haruno takes advantage of the moment to offer some insights into the complex relationship between herself and Yukino. She also expresses her concern that Yukino struggles to form meaningful connections with people. Towards the end of the festival, Haruno unintentionally mentions Yukino's involvement in the accident, but Hachiman dismisses it, considering it water under the bridge. Afterwards, Hachiman accompanies Yui home, and she opens up about her desire for him, Yukino, and herself not to hide their feelings. She also laments that she would have become friends with Hachiman even without the accident, a sentiment he rejects based on his own reasoning. However, as school resumes the following week, Hachiman begins to resent himself for believing that Yukino was incapable of lying, especially since she initially claimed not to know him in the first episode. Shizuka nominates Hachiman as the male representative for 2F on the Cultural Festival Committee, and Hayama later suggests Minami Sagami as the female representative. Minami goes a step further and volunteers to be the committee chair in an effort to foster her personal growth. Following this, Minami asks Yukino to assist her with the chairing duties as the vice president. To everyone's surprise, Yukino proves to be much more efficient in managing the festival responsibilities than Minami. Meanwhile, Hina Ebina takes charge of a stage production, and Haruno attempts to secure a musical performance for the festival. Minami proposes that the committee should focus on enjoying the preparations for the festival, while Yukino argues that logistical work should take precedence. However, more than half of the committee members opt to follow Minami's suggestion, leaving the remaining members with an uphill battle as the paperwork piles up. The next day, Yukino takes on most of the workload efficiently. When Hayato criticizes her for it, Hachiman shifts the focus away from Yukino by blaming the members who abandoned their responsibilities. Subsequently, Minami delegates most of her duties to Yukino and begins assisting other classes throughout the school. Overwhelmed by the paperwork, Yukino takes most of it home and fails to show up at school the following day. So, Hachiman and Yui pay a visit to Yukino and discover that she has pushed herself to the point of exhaustion by taking on the majority of the festival work. Yui scolds her for not relying on them more, and Hachiman reinforces her point by explaining that in an ideal world, 
people should depend on each other. However, he admits uncertainty about whether this would always be the right course of action. The following day, the festival committee attempts to brainstorm slogans that emphasize camaraderie. Hachiman cleverly proposes a slogan to highlight the unfair division of labor that Minami had introduced. This move earns Hachiman the disdain of the rest of the committee, and they gather the next day to distort his words. The Subu High School Cultural Festival eventually commences, and Minami struggles with her opening speech due to stage fright. Despite this initial hiccup, the rest of the festival turns out to be a great success, particularly Hina's Yaoi stage production. Hachiman takes a break during the festival, and Yui joins him for lunch. She explains that she has decided to be patient and wait for Yukino to open up to her, while also actively attempting to strengthen her bond with Hachiman. Elsewhere, Minami locks herself in the bathroom, overwhelmed by embarrassment. Subu High's cultural festival continues, and Hachiman is tasked with fulfilling his committee duties by documenting the day's events on camera. Kamachi arrives and is pleasantly surprised to see her brother taking some responsibility. As the festival enters its final stages, Haruno captivates the audience with a grand orchestra performance. As the closing ceremony draws near, Maguri reports that Minami is nowhere to be found. Since Minami is essential for delivering the closing speech, the group decides to buy some time while Hachiman embarks on a search around the campus to locate her. Eventually, Hachiman finds Minami on the rooftop of the laboratory building where he discovers that she is upset because Yukino overshadowed shadowed her, despite Minami asking for her assistance. Hayato and Minami's group arrive to retrieve her, but she refuses to leave. Seeing no other option, Hachiman cleverly employs reverse psychology and a dose of Minami's real social situation to persuade her to fulfill her duty, infuriating Hayato in the process. Afterward, the festival concludes with musical performances by Yui Yukino, Haruno, and Shizuka, followed by Minami's closing speech. The reactions of the onlookers to Hachiman's actions are mixed, but Shizuka compliments him for always finding ways to help people in need, though it pains her to see him constantly sacrificing himself to do so. Later that evening, in the service club room, Hachiman and Yukino reflect on how much they have come to understand each other, with Yukino subtly suggesting that they have become friends. Yui eventually joins them to invite them to an after-party hosted by Hayato to celebrate the success of the festival. Hachiman concludes by pondering that while there are no second chances in life, their ideals about society may continue to be viewed as unconventional. Subu High School holds its annual sports festival, and Hachiman attempts to justify his lack of interest in participating by reinterpreting a speech by Pierre de Coubertin. Sometime before the festival, Meguri Shiro Meguri asks for assistance from the service club in planning her final athletic festival at the school. The service club agrees, and Meguri asks them to brainstorm event ideas, however Shizuka dismisses all of their suggestions due to the social sensitivities associated with them. In response, Hachiman decides to enlist the creative input of Yoshiteru and Hina, and they begin making progress with the festival preparations. When the festival kicks off, the white team initially takes the lead over the red team. However, the tide turns when Yukino and the girls from the red team secure a victory in their historically themed event. Later, Hachiman participates in the male pole drop event and employs a clever strategy. He uses Yoshiteru as a distraction while he disguises himself as a white team player and stealthily approaches the pole. When Hayato and his group intervene, Hachiman reveals his faint strategy of diverting Hayato's attention so that Yoshiteru can charge at the pole ultimately winning the event and securing victory for the red team. Sometime later, the members of the service club discuss Hachiman's unconventional move that led to the red team's disqualification. Nevertheless, they resolve to give their best effort in the next athletics festival. Fellow weebs, if you enjoyed the recap, subscribe and turn on notifications for more hilarious videos. Also, if you would like to buy some cool anime keychains, then go ahead and check my description below. 